This week we'll be reading Parshat Bahar, and I wanted to begin with the question, the famous question, as to why this parsha and these mitzvot that we have at the beginning of the parsha seem to be out of order. Of course, we know that Sefer Vayikra, it, the, the Sefer is, is, uh, begins with Ohel Moed, right? That's the context in which um, the mitzvot are given. And here we seem to go back to Har Sinai, and all of the Mefarshim speak about this. In fact, here Ibn Ezra says, Ein mukdam umilchar batorah, everything is out of order chronologically. Uh, but the question that I wanted to ask is, is why we have these mitzvot out of order here at the end of Sefer Vayikra? And these mitzvot, of course, are Shmita and Yovel. Uh, why do these mitzvot specifically appear at the end of Sefer Vayikra? I think if we understand that, we might understand better the, the nature of Sefer Vayikra. The other point that I wanted to make is, is that these mitzvot seem to be so central and so important that they reappear in Parshat Bechukotai. So that when we have Parshat Bechukotai, which is of course the Tochacha, where God says, I'm going to punish you if you sin, particularly the parsha seems to be focused on the sin of not keeping Shemitah. That comes up over and over in Parshat Bechukotai. So the story of the mitzvah of Shemitah seems to be very, very central at the end of Sefer Vayikra. Uh, in order to understand this, I want to uh, ask a more general question, which is, what is the nature of Sefer Vayikra? I think it's a common misconception that Sefer Vayikra is about korbanot, it's about sacrifices, when in fact that is only really the first seven chapters of Sefer Vayikra. Sefer Vayikra really seems to be about something a little bit more general, namely Kedusha, sanctity. The idea of Sefer Vayikra is that we can bring sanctity into the human arena. And of course, we know that there are three different arenas in which we can experience Kedusha. One is Kedushat Hamakom, the spatial arena. Another is Kedushat Adam, the human being can, can, can introduce sanctity into his persona. And the third, of course, is in the temporal arena, namely Kedushat Hazman. If you look at the first section of Sefer Vayikra, it's really about Kedushat HaMakom. It's about how we introduce Kedusha into particular places, whether we're talking about the Mikdash, what you can do in the Mikdash. Of course, there's also the laws of Tum'ah, how you cannot enter the Mikdash, and it's about how to maintain Kedusha in a spatial place. Uh, the second part, maybe even the central part of Sefer Vayikra, is Kedushat HaAdam, Kedoshim Tihiyu, which is surrounded by the parsha of the Arayot, of sexual immorality. And of course, the center of the center, the center of Kedushat HaAdam, is Vyavta Reacha Kamocha, being a person of of, of morality, being a person who has substance in an ethical way, being a person who knows how to treat other people, that's the essence of Kedushat HaAdam, of how we introduce sanctity into the person. The third section of Sefer Vayikra is Kedushat HaZman, and that is, of course, Shabbat and the Chagim, and how we are able to experience Kedusha in a temporal framework. When we get to, say, to, to, to Parshat Behar, what we experience is the coming together, the intertwining of all of these Kiddushot. The mitzvah of Shemitah and of Yovel is actually an intertwining of, of course, Kiddushat HaMakom. It's how we experience Shemitah in a particular place, in a particular land. And of course, it's also about Kiddushat HaAdam. It's about giving freedom to slaves. It's about the importance of uh, um, each person maintaining their own uh, autonomy and how that person um, is valuable because he has Kedusha, because he has sanctity, because he can obtain sanctity. And of course, it's also about Kedusha Tazman. Shemitah also is about when every seven years we, we have Shemitah, every, on the 50th year, we have Yovel. And so Shemitah really gathers together all of the aspects of Sefer Vayikra, it becomes the ultimate experience of obtaining Kedusha in all three of the arenas in which we are taught that we can experience Kedusha, that we are meant to experience Kedusha, and therefore it's such an important mitzvah in order to conclude the story of Vayikra, the goal of Sefer Vayikra, and it's also, of course, the reason that Parshat Bechukotai takes us back to Shemitah in order to, uh, to, to explain that if we violate Shemitah, we violated the very essence 
of our goals in Sefer Vayikra, and that is how we introduce Kedusha into these three arenas. When we don't do this, says God, Parshat Bechukotai uh, tells us that we will be punished because we will have violated the very essence of our goals as a nation. Shabbat Shalom.